Hello children, we are now in our English subject, Quarter 1, Module 4, recognizing the use of a or an last noun. This module provides you with activities that will help you learn about the use of a or an last noun. Activities in this module will also teach you the proper way of using them in your day-to-day -day life. At the end of this module, you are expected to number 1. Recognize the use of a or an plus noun and use a or an with nouns correctly. What I know This is a picture of a family having a picnic. Let's find out the things the family do during their picnic. Put a check in the box if the activity could be observed from the picture and a cross or X if it is not in the picture. Write your answer here in the module. Number one, a boy playing a boat. Can you see that in the picture? Is there a boy there playing a boat? If yes, put the box with the check. And if it is not, put a cross or X in the box. Number two, a girl catching a butterfly. Can you see a girl there catching a butterfly? Number three, an airplane in the sky. Is there an airplane in the sky? Number four, an owl on the tree. And number five, a mother taking some pictures. If you are done, let's proceed. Some words are long, some are small, but even they are small words, they play an important role in the English subject or English language. These small words are called articles. The words a and an are articles. These words are always used with nouns. These are special kinds of adjectives. They give information about nouns. What's in? Read the story below. Identify the articles used in the story, then answer the questions that follow. Let us read the story. Out for a picnic. One Saturday morning, my family and I went on a picnic. We have lots of packed food to eat. We drove to a beautiful park. We saw a tree near the lake. We chose to stay under the big tree and we sat on a blanket. We saw a boy flying a kite and a girl riding a bike. We also saw a vendor selling balloons. Mother bought me a red balloon. It was really a nice day. We had a wonderful time. Read and answer the questions orally. Number one, what did the whole family do one Saturday morning? A. Had a picnic. B. Went in the mall. What is your answer? Correct, it's letter A. Number two, what did they bring? A, food. B, clothes. Correct, it's letter A, food. Number three, where did they sit on? A, on a blanket. B, on the rocks. Correct, letter A, on a blanket. Number four, 
What did they see in the sky? A. Kite B. Plane What is your answer? Correct, A, kite. Number five. Who is riding on a bike? A, a boy. B, a girl. Yes, you are right. It's letter B, a girl. You had made a great job. So let's proceed. What's new? An article is a small word with a very important job. Articles are special kinds of adjectives. They give information about nouns. A and an are articles. These words are always used with nouns. If the nouns begin with a consonant sound, use a. Examples, we read, it, we read it as a. Examples, a boy, a tiger, a bicycle. Since the word boy starts with a b sound and it is a consonant sound, we will use a. So, it makes a boy. Tiger. Since letter T is a consonant letter and it has a consonant sound which is T, we use A or we read it, we read it as A, a tiger. And next, a bicycle. If the nouns begin with a vowel sound, use an. So what? Are the vowel letters? It's letter A, E, I, O, and U. And the vowel sounds A, E, I, O, U. If the word starts with vowel sounds, we use an. Example, orange. So it starts with a vowel sound, which is O. So we use an, an orange. Ink pot. It starts with a vowel sound, which is e. We, so we use an, an ink pot. Octopus. It starts with o. We should use an, so we read it as an octopus. Which is correct? Write your answer there on the blank. A tree or a tree. Remember, it starts with a consonant sound, which is t. So what is correct? A tree or a tree? Write your answer here in the blank. Number two. A bag or an bag. Number three, an owl or an a owl. Again, a owl or an owl. Number four, a egg or an egg. And number five, a dog or an dog. If you have finished writing your answer, then let's proceed. What is it? Choose the correct article to describe each noun. So, answer, write your answer here on the mojo. Number one, that's hen. So, what is the correct article? A or an? A hen or Unhand. Encircle your answer. Encircle the correct article. Next picture, elf. Next picture, house. 
Next, aunt. Next, castle. Are you now familiar with the use of a or an plus noun? Then let's move on. What's more? Remember this. So you have to remember now. Think, think, think. Put this now on your brain. Remember, ayaw kalinti. Use a or an only with singular nouns. Singular means only one. So we say a dog. So there is only one dog. We cannot use it if we say dogs. Because dogs are already or means many. So we only use that if we are going to refer or we mean only one. Example, a vase means one vase. A big balloon means one big balloon. An electric fan means one electric fan. An old woman means one old woman. Do you understand? Again, if we use the article a and an, it is only for singular nouns, for only one. Now, we have other examples. A toy, a pen, a cat, an airplane, an umbrella, an owl. Next, put a check if the given phrase uses a correct article or a cross or X if does not. If it does not, write your answer on, on this module. So write your answer there in the blank before each number. Number one, an orange. Is it correct? Number two, a flowers. Number three, a butterflies. Number four, a bag. And number five, an elephant. Guided activity one. On a separate sheet of paper or in your notebook, use a or an before the following words. Do not get any more a paper or notebook. Write your answer here in the module. Number one, pencil. So what are we going to use? A or an? Number two, insect. Number three, mask. Number four, telephone. And number five, envelope. Next, guided activity two. What is this? Write your answer on a sheet of paper or in your notebook. So what do you see in the picture? An ant or a bat? So put a check there inside the box. I repeat, put a check inside the box. Next picture. What do you see? An eagle or a parrot? Put a check in the box. Next, what do you see? A fan or an umbrella? And last picture, a flower or an ice cream? If you are finished, let's proceed. Guided Assessment 1. Underline the correct article to complete each sentence. Do this here in the module. So just write your answer here. Underline the correct article. But Lisi. Okay, number 1. The man is riding a and boat. Number two, I ate a an 
apple. Number three, Dave saw a, an elephant. Number four, Karina drew a and tree. And number five, Nana is reading a and book. Answer now. Guided assessment two. Write a or an, I mean a or an on the blank. Write your answers there in the module. So just write a or an. I have blank yellow bell. Number two, Mia bake blank cake. Number three, Franco cook blank egg. Number four, he owns blank orange bicycle. And number five, Selena sang blank song. Independent activity ones. Fill in each blank with an article A or N to complete the sentence. So write your answer in the blank. The best time to see blank star is at night. So what is the correct answer? A or N? Correct, it's A. So you're right there, A. Number two. Blank good friend tells you the truth. Number three, I ate blank egg for breakfast. Number four, I see blank elephant at the circus. And number five, blank kind friend is blank gift. Let's answer the next activity. Choose the correct article A or N and color the bubble red. Do this activity uh, in here in the module. So do you see there the circle? Just color it red. Again, color it red. Maria works in blank hospital. An or a or a. Number two, she is blank nurse. Number three, she is blank cute little patient. Number four, she loves to give her patient blank apple every day. And number five, all her patients were happy to have blank nurse like her. Next activity, independent activity two, write A or N on the blanks. So write your answer here in the module. Blank bus and blank kite. A or N. A or an number two blank fish and blank starfish number three blank eye and blank hand number four blank hive and blank bee and number six blank man and blank violin next activity on a separate sheet of paper or in your notebook Circle the correct article in each sentence. So just encircle the article A or N here in the module. Don't get a paper or notebook anymore. Number one. Elise wanted to read a and storybook for her classmates. So just encircle Lingini. Number two, Carmina put a an orange on her yogurt. Number three, put a an raincoat when you go out in the rain. Number four, a an old woman cannot become a an 
young girl again. And number five, a an oval is a shape like a an egg. Independent assessment one. Box the correct article for each underlined noun in the sentence. So you box it. Kahuni. Okay, ikahon ang a or an. Number one. A an dog is a cute pet. Number two. A an aunt works hard. Number three, a and car passed by. Number four, a and doctor cured the sick kid. And number five, a and arrow is a sign pointing to a direction. What I have learned, so you have learned the articles a and an plus the noun. A plus consonant. So, a plus the consonant, letter, or sound. Like examples, a lamp, a door, a house, a bag, a tomato. Then, an plus the vowel sound of the first letter of the word. Example, an apple, an elephant. An ice cream, an orange, an umbrella. We only use a or an or a or an with singular nouns. Singular means only one. Examples. A vase means one vase. A big balloon means one big balloon. An electric fan means one electric fan. An old woman means one old woman. Why is it important to learn the use of a or an plus noun? It is important to learn how to use a or an with nouns so that we would use or write correct sentences. What I can do on a separate sheet of paper, paper or in your notebook Use the following words in a sentence with a correct article A or N. Example, candle. Write a simple sentence using the word candle. And don't forget to use the correct article A or N. Example, candle. Since it starts with a vowel, I mean a consonant sound we use a or we did we read it as a candle so let's make a simple sentence using a candle example i have a candle okay do you understand so number two use the word cheese number three Paper. Answer now. Assessment. Yes or no. Check yes if the given phrase has the correct article and no if it, is, if it does not have. So you check yes and if it is no, you write X or cross. A man. Is it correct? Yes or no? Yes. So you check yes. Number two, an apple. Number three, a dog. Number four, an owl. And number five, a frog. Next activity. Complete the short story by supplying the correct article A or N. Do the activity on a separate sheet. So just write your answer here, right there in the blank. Okay? The poor little girl. 
Once there was blank little girl named Annie. She was blank beautiful lass who sells blank echo bag in the market. Every day after her class, she sells echo bags in the market. With her charm, many people buy her echo bags. Annie was so happy and thankful to those who buy. With blank grateful heart, she always prays to God and thank Him. Even though they are poor, she is blank happy girl as she always thanks God for being with them all the time. Okay? So you write there in the blank the correct article, A or N. Additional activities. Put a star if the given phrase has a correct article and cross or X if it has a wrong article. So write your answer there in the blank. Blank an orange. Is it correct? So if it is correct, you put a star in the blank. If it is not correct, you put cross or X. Number two, a flowers. Number three, a book. Number four, a an vase. And number five, a envelope. Next activity, label the pictures. Then write the words in the correct column in the table below. Do the activity here in the module. So what do you see in the picture? First picture, number one. Number two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So here in the next, the box, there is a column there for A and a column there for AN. So you have there the words umbrella, pencil, flower, envelope, apple, cupcake, tree, and butterfly. So you write these words first here below the picture. So number one, flower, you write there, a flower. Number two, what is that? A butterfly, correct. Number three, a tree, oh, you write there inside the box. Number four. An envelope. Five. A pencil. Number six. An umbrella. Seven. An apple. Number eight. A cupcake. So here now in the column, so these words, you write the words below each column where it belongs. Example, umbrella. What do we use with the words umbrella? What article? A or an? Correct, an. So you write the word umbrella here below the word an. Here in the column of the word or the article an umbrella. Do you understand? So finish now all the activities. Answer all the activities in the module. And if you are finished, you can put now your module in your envelope. Thank you for answering.
God bless children. Goodbye.